Okay, arc length is next. Arc length is, the formula is very similar to sector area, but in this case, what we're trying to do is calculate the distance from a point to another point going around the circle. So if you were to stand here and walk around this circle, the arc length would be how far you would walk. And of course, you can't walk straight through the circle. You have to go along the curved part. So we're trying to find the distance from G to H, which is what we call arc length. And the formula is very similar to the last one, sector area, where X is the arc length. But this time, the difference in the formulas is down here is the circumference, whereas before it was the area, so 2 pi r instead of pi r squared. Same thing up here is the angle of the arc divided by the whole circle, 360. Let's give a couple examples. Number one. Try to find the length of this arc right here. So here we go. We're going to set up our proportion. X is our arc length. 2 pi r. R is 4. 105 is the angle. 360 is the whole thing. So let's cross multiply. Let's get this thing up here. Leave the x where it is. So x is equal to 105 times 2 pi times 4 over 360. You can simplify all these together in the top if you want. 4 times 2 is 8 times 105 is 840. And the pi is still there over 360. You can even knock these zeros off if you want. You can even, uh, since the top and bottom numbers are both even, you can say, okay, let's cut them in half as well. 42 and 18, they're still both even, so it's 42 pi over 18. I'm just simplifying here in my head before I go to my calculator. Cut them both in half again, 21 and 9. There's still a 3 in there. 7 pi over 3. 7 pi over 3 is the same as 840 pi over 360. So you can calculate that pretty simply. Let's go to uh, calculator 7 times pi over 3 is 7.33. And let me just show you that it is the same as 840 times pi over 360. Cool. 7.33 is the length of this arc. Where did my marker go? There it is. 7.33. This is just a regular distance, so we're just going to use regular units. And that's it. Number two. Find the length of the bold arc. I'll take my highlighter and I'll highlight it. I'm trying to find this distance right there. So we set up our proportion, that's the length of the arc. Down here is 2 times pi times the radius. Up here is 150, down here is 360. So 9 times 2 is 18 pi. I'll cut the zeros off. And you can simplify a little bit more, but let's just bring this guy up here and put that into our calculator right away. 18 times pi times 15 divided by 360. I did that wrong. Try that again. 18 times pi times 15 divided by 36. Sorry about that. 23.562. And that's in miles. That's quite a distance how long it would take you to walk from here all the way around to here. That's almost a marathon. Number four, find the length of the bold arc. So we want to go three quarters of the way around the circle. So you can think of it like that. It'd be three quarters of the perimeter of the circle, the circumference of the circle, I should say. But let's set it up into our good old fashioned proportion two times pi times the radius. Up here we have 270, 360. So let's see, 24 pi times 270. I'll call that actually 27 because the zeros cancel over 36. You can see there's some simplification you can make again, but let's just go right to our calculators. 24 
times 27 times pi divided by 36. 24, uh, yeah, that looks right. 56.589, not, uh, 54, not, excuse me, 56.549. That's yards. Alrighty. A couple more here, number five. I'm going to go backwards this time. We're given the length of the arc. I'll put it in red. The length of the arc is 815 inches. And we're trying to find the radius. So here we go. We set up our proportion. 815 is what we're given. 2 pi r is down here. 53 is the angle, 360 is the whole circle. So here we go, let's take a little cross multiplication here. That goes up here. And then we'll take the 360 and bring it up here. So we have 360 times 815, 360 times 815. 293400. 293400. And we're going to go 2 pi r times 53. 2 pi r times 53. So let's first, I guess, multiply the numbers. 2 times 53 is 106. Pi r is equal to 293400. Now we want to get r by itself, so we're going to divide everything by 106 pi. You can divide them at the same time. Just put them in parentheses in your calculator. This whole thing cancels out with this whole thing, leaving just r. And r is equal to, in our calculators, we're going to go that number 293400 divided by parentheses 106 times pi. If you don't use parentheses, you're going to get the wrong answer. 881.058. Eight eight one point oh five eight, and that is in inches. It's an awfully big, an awfully big radius there. Number six, last one. Find the diameter. All right, so we need to find the radius first. We're given the arc length is from here to here, thirty four pi. So we want to set up our proportion. Thirty four pi is right here. Two pi r is down here. 46 is here, 360 is here. Pi's on top and bottom, cancel them out. 2 and 34 is 17. And I might as well simplify over here too. They're both, let's see, they're both even. So 23 over 180. 23 is prime, so we're done factoring, or we're done simplifying there. Cross multiply, 23 times R, 17 times 180 is, I'm pretty tired so I can't do that in my head, 3060. And we're going to divide that by 23. So our radius is 133.043. And we're done. Well, that's not true. We have to find the diameter. So let's multiply that by 2. 266.087. Diameter is 266.087. And there's no unit, I don't think, so let's just say units. Cool. That was sector, or that was arc length, rather. And it would be probably pretty smart to watch arc length and sector area back to back, since they are so similar, you want to get really good practice at either one.